This video shows how to use XLights. XLights is an application which is great for troubleshooting to determine if a problem of configuration is with your PC, with another application, or your controller is functioning correctly. Now, if you're ever having problems with output, first try to use the test function that's built into the controller. That'll confirm that the lights are working. If they do not work in the test mode, they will not work on the PC or X lights or any sequencing application. So again, make sure your lights are working in the test mode built into the controller. See our video on how to do that. So at this point, we're going to assume that you've hooked up your controller to the network. The controller is reachable and we will be using the default IP address here of 192.168.0.50. Now I do have a few pixels hooked up here and they are hooked up to outputs 1, 2, and 3. Now we just have three pixels hooked up just for demonstration to show that they are connected and how we determine if they're working. So the first key part to understand about testing is addressing. Now you can configure your controller in many different ways and this all depends on sequences you may be using and your personal preferences. Now for each physical output we can assign a universe and DMX start channel along with how many pixels are connected. And as you can see here on the screen, we have brought that data up and you can see the default configuration of 340 connected pixels. So for simplicity, we're going to go ahead and change this so that the outputs match the universe. A universe can be 1 to a lot and a DMX start channel can be 1 to 510. So for simplicity again, we're just going to make it real simple. We're going to have our DMX start channel always be DMX channel 1 and the output match the DMX universe. Again, see our other videos for information about issues you may experience uh, about addressing with your sequencing application. Now I'm only got a three outputs configured, so we're just going to configure the first part of these and we're going to set those. It's going to reload. Okay, we're going to scroll down here and we can see now that we have DMX start universes 1, 2, and 3. So, just for relevance, this is output 1 physically, SPI output 1. It has 3 pixels. Now, I know that we have 340 configured in the application, but it doesn't matter. We only have 3 actually connected. So, what we have here is this is output 1. This is going to be pixel 1. DMX addresses 1, 2, and 3 for red, green, blue. Then we're going to have DMX addresses 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9. That's on universe 1. Then on universe 2, which is in this particular case matched up with output 2. Output 2, we have DMX channels 1, 2, 3 on pixel 1. Pixel 2 is going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. Okay, so now that we've looked at this, let's go ahead and load up XLights. Now, XLights needs to be version 2012B. 2012B. There are newer versions of XLights Nutcracker, but we have found a number of output issues related to this application. Using Nutcracker for sequencing your applications uh, is fine, but we do not recommend testing using Nutcracker uh, XLights, the current versions. So we're going to go ahead and load up X lights. And if you install X lights, we do recommend uh, naming the icon or the menu when you install it 2012B. So if you do install Nutcracker X lights, it will be discernible between the two versions. And you can't have both versions installed on the computer. Uh, again, this assumes that your controller is connected and working on the network. Again, as the other videos show, you can use the ping command to confirm this. Okay, so let's go ahead and load up X lights. So we're going to go ahead and go to network setup. Now it may be that you need to go ahead and select your desktop directory uh, for the configuration file or another file location. In this particular case, we've already set this up. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and delete all this. And we're going to go ahead and add a new output. Now this is E131. So we're going to click E131 and we're going to say unicast and we can see that my IP address here is 192.168.0.50 so we're going to enter that IP address here 
192.168.0.50, starting universe 1, and we're just going to configure three universes, which is what we have for testing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK. You can see that it's added for this port, my IP address of this particular controller here. If you have multiple controllers, you need to, of course, address it to the proper one. And the universe and the number of channels, which in this case, it's going to be a full universe. Go ahead and hit Save. We're going to click Schedule and Test. This will bring up this box. We're going to go ahead, click this button, Test Lights. We are then going to go to the text X tester. Now we have three networks here. You may have networks that scroll off the screen. You may have to click back to get over here. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and just check off one channel. We're going to check off channel one of network one. So what we should see is we should see this is network one. This is pixel one. This is DMX channel one. So let's go ahead and say background only. And we're going to turn it on and you can see it's lighting up here it's blue now that may not be what you wanted you may not want blue so we may have to go back to our application for configuration and configure the order in which they're configured so we're going to say this is RGB and we're going to set that and wait for the controller to restart and take those settings so we're going to go ahead and select background and you can see now it's coming out as we expect. So we have red, and normally most applications do expect red, green, blue. So in our particular case, it would be channel one would be red, channel two would be green, and blue would be channel three. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to leave this on for the background only and the background intensity. We're going to check off that. We're going to check off two. So we see green, then we see blue. So we have red, green, blue all together. We now get white. So, we can see that these are properly set up. And they're addressing exactly the way we expect. Now let's try our next network. So we have the output here. And we're working on this particular pixel right here. We're going to turn on network 2, channel 1. You can see it's red, green, blue, green, and blue. And it's working as expected. Now, you can use X lights for a variety of other tests, like burn in testing, or if you're trying to turn on all your lights at one time. So, what you can do is you can use a red, green, blue on and off, like this, for example, and you can select them all to turn on. So, in this particular case, what we've done is we've gone to network two, which you can see here is output two, and you can see that they are cycling through red, green, blue. We can also do red, green, blue white and then off. This is good for testing to make sure that you don't have any stuck pixels or that you have colors that are not showing. So this is a great test right here, ABC, which is the channel order of one, two, three uh, for testing. So again, X Lights is an absolutely critical application to use for testing and we actually even recommend it often before you even start with your PC-based application like LORS3, Lightshow Pro, Vixen, Hinkle Lights, or any other application. Test with X Lights first, then proceed on. If you should have problems with your PC configuration, for customers that have configured or purchased the optional PC network support, please feel free to contact us. If you need additional support and have not purchased at the time of purchase our optional support contract, which is end to end configuration you can purchase that from our website, item number support one.